Hey guys, and welcome to Scratch the Itch, a series where I play indie games from Itch.io and try to find ones that scratch that gaming itch we sometimes get. Today's game is titled Ever Forward by Pathea Games. It is a puzzle adventure game with clean and pleasant visuals. You play as a young girl named Maya who is caught between dreams and reality. As you solve puzzles, you unlock the memories and secrets Maya keeps hidden away. Before we begin, this game is currently only a demo. The demo has about 40% of the game with a total of 8 puzzles in it. A full release is slated for summer 2020 with a $14.99 price tag. The game is currently only for Windows, but will also have a Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch release. So let's just hop right into the meat and potatoes of the game, the puzzles. They're good, and I quite like them. Uh, I'm not an avid puzzle gamer, but the puzzles in the demo weren't too challenging even for me. However, the last puzzle in the demo did trip me up for quite some time, and I ended up needing to watch a video in order to learn how to complete it. After seeing the solution, I don't think the puzzle was overly difficult. I think I just suck at puzzles. Overall though, the difficulty of the puzzles was varied and completing them felt rewarding both in just completing them but also in unlocking more of the story. More importantly though, they felt like puzzles and while that shouldn't be a real problem, I feel like some puzzle games have puzzles that just suck at being puzzles. However, that isn't the case with Ever Forward. In fact, I was reminded of the feeling I had when I first played Portal, and if it wasn't for that feeling, I probably would have given up on the last puzzle way sooner than I had. I don't think I saw the teleportation and gravity control aspects of the demo that are listed on the product page, but I imagine they will continue to spice up the puzzles and make them enjoyable. As I had mentioned previously, the puzzles feel rewarding because they unlock more of Maya's story. I like the way the story is presented, you're trickle-fed bits and pieces of it as you complete the puzzles, so I was always looking forward to completing the puzzle so I could get the next bit of the story. And the way they show the memories is really well done in my opinion. A lot of games go for the cliché flashback with a sepia filter, but Ever Forward instead goes for this limited motion particles and low detail backgrounds. It gives you the impression that you're not getting the whole picture, but instead just the important bits that Maya remembers. Overall, the story has a Shelter by Porter Robinson vibe, and I can really see the story being a bit of a tearjerker towards the end. I could be wrong though, but I think the conclusion of the game and story is going to be bittersweet. I suppose I wouldn't be doing the game justice if I didn't mention the graphics and the style. Simply put, the game looks fantastic, and the style fits perfectly for the story that is being told. The dual environments you experience are well crafted and beautiful, you have this bright, beautiful, and full of color coastline, but then in the dream world it's muted with bright accent colors. In fact, this reminded me quite a bit of the aesthetic that Mirror's Edge has. However, more importantly than just looks, all the important information is easy to see, follow, and understand. This is fantastic for someone who is an avid puzzle gamer like myself. Being able to quickly get my bearings when confronting a new puzzle just felt good. And I also want to shout out the developer that made it so running through the dandelions made it so fluff when everywhere. It's a small detail, but I really, really liked that. The first thing I noticed when I loaded into the game wasn't how pretty the game was, or how it sounded, or any of that. In fact, it was the controls. I immediately thought they were stiff, and I really worried about how it'll impact the experience of the game. However, as I played the game, I naturally grew accustomed to the controls. Um, however, by the end of the demo, I don't think I really grew to like them, but I was more accustomed to them and it didn't have that jarring stiffness I had initially felt. But it did still feel stiff. This is really my only complaint, and it's kind of a minor one, but I'm not saying the controls are bad, they're just kind of stiff a little bit. So without anything really bad to say, does Ever Forward scratch the itch? Yes. I'm not a huge puzzle gamer, but I think this demo was a lot of fun. And assuming it reflects the rest of the game, I imagine the rest of the game will be just as fun. Additionally, I'm looking forward to the conclusion of the story, whether it be bittersweet or not. I'm really digging what the devs are putting down, and I'm looking forward to the full release. Overall, I think the puzzles are challenging enough to be fun and rewarding, the story is enjoyable, and the game is great to look at. I will have to definitely revisit Ever Forward on full release. Thank you all for watching. Are you guys fans of puzzle games? If so, let me know what puzzle games are your favorite down below in the comments, and maybe I'll check them out. 
Have a great day and see you next time.